Hey there, royal folks. Welcome to another episode of Untold Royal Secrets. It's your favorite royal critic here, coming at you with another juicy scoop from the world of royal drama. Buckle up, because this one's a doozy that will have you clutching your pearls faster than you can say financial trouble. So gather round, my fellow royal watchers, because it looks like our favorite exiled royals, Harry and Meghan, might be in a bit of a pickle. And by pickle, I mean a financial catastrophe that's got more zeros than a government budget. Now we all remember when Harry and Meghan decided to ditch the royal life for the sun-soaked hills of California, right? They landed themselves a sweet little pad in Montecito. And when I say little, I mean a hopping 18,000 square foot mansion that makes Buckingham Palace look like a garden shed. But here's the kicker, folks. It seems like our dynamic do might have bitten off more than they can chew. Let's break it down, shall we? This little slice of paradise set them back a cool $14.5 million back in 2020. Now, I don't know about you, but where I come from, that's not exactly chump change. We're talking serious money here, folks. The kind of cash that would make even Jeff Bezos think twice. But wait, it gets better, or worse, depending on how you look at it. This isn't just any old mansion. Oh no, this is a veritable wonderland of excess. We're talking 9 bedrooms, 16 bathrooms, because apparently 15 just wasn't enough. A pool, tennis court, extensive gardens, a chicken coop. Because every royal needs fresh eggs, right? A five-car garage, guest house, spa, wine cellar, gym, library, and, wait for it, a tea house. Because nothing says we've left our royal duties behind. Quite like having your own personal tea house. Now, I'm all for living large, but this is taking it to a whole new level. It's like they looked at lifestyles of the rich and famous and thought, nah, not extravagant enough. Let's add a chicken coop. But here's where things start to get really interesting, folks. The tax bill for this little slice of heaven has just hit. And let me tell you, it's a doozy. We're talking about a whopping $146,600 for 2023 alone. That's more than some people make in a year. And they're paying it just to keep the taxman happy. And get this, that's actually an increase from previous years. In 2022, they were paying only $144,000, and in 2021, a mere $141,000. I don't know about you, but my idea of a pay rise doesn't usually involve shelling out more in taxes. Now, I can just picture Meghan and Harry sitting around their palatial dining table, sipping tea from their personal tea house, when the tax bill arrives. Meghan probably turned to Harry and said, Darling, did you remember to factor in the cost of running a small country when we bought this place? And Harry, bless his heart, probably just stared blankly at the bill, wondering if he could trade a few chickens to cover the cost. But here's the real kicker, folks. While they're busy trying to figure out how to pay for their little slice of paradise, our boy Harry is apparently trying to mend fences back in the UK. That's right, he's reaching out to old pals and former palisades, trying to smooth things over with King Charles and Prince William. Now, call me crazy, but I can't help but wonder if this sudden desire to make nice has anything to do with the mounting bills back in California. Is Harry hoping for a royal bailout? Maybe he's thinking, if I play my cards right, maybe Dad will foot the bill for the tea house. But let's be real for a second here. This isn't just about a hefty tax bill or an over-the-top mansion. This is about two people who seem to have lost touch with reality. They left the royal family claiming they wanted privacy and financial independence. And how did they achieve this? by buying a mansion that's visible from space and racking up bills that would make a small nation weep. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion, but the car is made of solid gold and the crash is happening in slow motion because the driver stopped to check their hair in the rear view mirror. And let's not forget, this is all happening while they're supposedly trying to build their brand and make a name for themselves outside of the royal family. But instead of focusing on their charitable work or whatever it is they're supposed to be doing, they're busy juggling tax bills and trying to remember which of their 16 bathrooms they left their phone in. Now, I'm not one to throw stones, especially not at a $14.5 million glass house, but you've got to wonder what they were thinking. Did they really believe that leaving the royal family would somehow be cheaper? Did they think Netflix deals grow on trees? Or maybe they just got caught up in the California dreaming and forgot that dreams come with price tags? And let's talk about Megan for a second. She's been painted as this master strategist, the brains behind the operation. But if this is her master plan, I've got to wonder if maybe she's been spending too much time in that tea house, if you know what I mean. Because from where I'm sitting, this looks less like a strategy and more like a financial titanic, steaming full speed ahead towards the iceberg of bankruptcy. But here's the thing that really gets me, folks. While they're living it up in their mansion, racking up bills left and right, 
the rest of the world is going through some pretty tough times. We've got people struggling to make ends meet, and these two are worrying about how to pay for their wine cellar. It's like they're living in a different universe, one where money grows on trees and common sense is optional. And yet, despite all this, they still seem to think they can have it both ways. They want their California mansion and their royal titles too. They want financial independence, but they also want daddy support. They want privacy, but they're splashing their lives all over Netflix. It's like they're trying to have their royal cake and eat it too, all while sitting in their private tea house. Now, I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm sure they have good intentions somewhere under all that designer clothing and perfectly styled hair. But good intentions don't pay the bills, folks. And right now it looks like those bills are piling up faster than Harry can say, I miss my old life. So, what's next for our dynamic duo? Will they downsize to a modest 10,000 square foot home with only 5 bathrooms? Will Harry start giving polo lessons to make ends meet? Or will Meghan launch a line of tyras for the everyday woman? Only time will tell, folks. But one thing's for sure, this financial roller coaster is far from over. And you can bet your bottom dollar, which is probably more than Harry and Meghan have right now, that I'll be here to keep you updated on every twist and turn. So there you have it, folks. The latest chapter in the saga of Harry and Meghan, Royals in Crisis. It's got more drama than a soap opera, more financial intrigue than a Wall Street thriller, and more questionable decisions than a season of The Bachelor. Remember, folks, money can't buy happiness, but it can buy a 18,000 square foot mansion with its own tea house. Whether that's a good investment or not, well, I'll leave that for you to decide. This has been your friendly neighborhood royal commentator signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hey, if you're feeling generous, maybe start a GoFundMe for Harry and Meghan's tax bill. Something tells me they might need it. Until next time, keep your feet on the ground, your eyes on the stars, and your checkbook balanced. Because if there's one thing we've learned from this whole debacle, it's that even princes can find themselves in a financial fairy tale gone wrong. Stay tuned, royal watchers. Something tells me the story is far from over. Who knows? Maybe next week we'll find out they've started renting out their tea house on Evan to make ends meet. In this saga, anything's possible. Cheerio, folks. And remember, always read the fine print before buying a mansion. You never know when those pesky property taxes might come back to bite you in the royal behind.